Exactly. We're ready. Mrs. Peabody, we don't shoot the wedding scene for two weeks. Go ahead, Penelope. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. Too British, she's supposed to be an American kid. But, Grandmother, how can one possibly be too British? Please, Mrs. Peabody, I've got problems. Go right ahead, Penelope. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. How do you like that plagiarism? Look, honey, go back the old way. This way, nobody will understand you. We'll shoot it next Tuesday. Oh, Mr. Buckley. Not now, honey. I got business to attend to. Wait a minute. Penelope, how would you like a present? A present? But why, sir? There's no occasion. There will be if you accept it. Look, a bow-wow just for you. Oh, he's beautiful. So diminutive. And he's small, too. I'd love to take him, Mr. Buckley. But I couldn't. You couldn't? No, you see, I have a dog at home, actually. A very faithful dog. I wouldn't dream of hurting his feelings. Do you have to tell him? Oh, I wouldn't have to tell him. He'd know. Dogs are much smarter than people. They sense things. They're more loyal, too. You see, dogs love you when no one else loves you. They don't care if you're rich or smart or pretty or anything. Looks like I was designed for dogs. Dog is man's best friend. And when you have a problem, he's always there to help. I wouldn't dream of taking him from you, Mr. Buckley. But thank you kindly just the same. Something old, something new. Something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. Looks like we're going to have a wedding after all, pineapple. Walt wants you to meet a very pretty young English girl. Yeah? Yes. She's the voice in Alice in Wonderland. But I was anxious to meet her. Walt suggested that uh, we join her on the set for a cup of tea. Catherine, this is James Melton. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Melton? How are you, Miss Catherine? What are you uh, studying so hard there, Catherine? Some of Alice's Jabberwocky? No, worse than that, algebra. You know, I think they were both invented by the same person. I think they Quiet. Have to... Rehearsal. We're ready for you now, Catherine. Oh, uh, do excuse me, please. This is the uh, mad tea party scene. There was that wonderful Ed Wynn, having the time of his life inspiring the artists as the voice of the Mad Hatter, Professor Jerry Colonna himself. <laughs> My dear child, this is not a birthday party. Of course not, silly. This is an unbirthday party. Unbirthday? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. It's very simple. Now, 30 days have... No, well, an unbirthday... If you have a birthday, then you... <laughs> she doesn't know what an unbirthday is. Oh! Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, uh, it's quite all right. But you did give me quite a turn. You see, I was following... It's rather good, what? Doorknob turn? Please, sir. <laughs> well, one good turn deserves another. What can I do for well, you? Well, I'm looking for a white rabbit. So, um, if you don't mind... Eh? Oh! There he is! I simply must get through! Sorry, you're much too big. Simply impassable. You mean impossible? No, impassable. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. Why don't you try the bottle on the table? Well, I want you to meet your hostess. This is Catherine Beaumont. She's the voice of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Well, what goes with the voice isn't so bad either. I'm ever so glad to meet you, Charlie. I've heard so much about you. Really? How fascinating. Tell me more about me. <laughs> Look, sis, why don't we slip away from this fish fry and go somewhere? I happen to know of an intimate little soda fountain. Well, I can't, Charlie. Uh, can't do it. Besides, I'd like you to meet somebody. His name is Bobby Driscoll, and he's in movies. Bobby? My mind's next. Hurry up. 
Hi, Charlie. <laughs> oh, hello, chum. So you want to be an actor, huh? Well, take my advice, bud, and give it up. Uh, you'll never make the grade. The boy hasn't got the face. He hasn't got it. Oh, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Bobby won an Academy Award for his acting in So Dear to My Heart and The Window. Oh, he did, eh? Well, of course it's all right if you like talent. Oh, Mr. Disney, uh, everyone's here now. How about that surprise you promised? Okay, Kathy. Hey, everybody, attention. Now comes the big surprise. Oh. It all started a good many years ago when I was traveling through Europe. I happened to meet a fairy princess who had a cousin who used to work here at the studio. Now, she put me on to this wonderful magic mirror. And I was finally able to buy it, and I brought it back here to the studio. Mr. Disney, you mean the wonderful magic mirror that belonged to the Wicked Queen in Snow White is... is behind this curtain? It is. Now you watch. Now you kids help me with the magic words. Bibbidi! Bobbidi! Oh. Will it really do magic, Mr. Disney? Oh, sure. I'm a little rusty, though. We'll try it. Oh, slave! in the magic mirror come from the farther space. How hammy can you get? Uh, do you girls know this character, Disney? Yes, he's our father. Uh, oh. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I'll get him. Oh, slave in the magic mirror come from the farther space. <laughs> Through wind and rain and hail I summon thee. Let me see your face. I am here, master. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Hmm? Art thou kidding? Oh. <laughs> City slicker, smart elegant. <laughs> uh, it's some kind of gag. Oh, no, Charlie. I know about this mirror. It can produce the past, the present, and the future. Anything. Just anything at all. From time and distance, from sky and sea, what master wishes, herein shall be. Ah, uh, malarkey. That's probably some kind of a hopped-up television set. Television? Television? Whoa, steady old boy. Take it easy. Television fact! I have never been so insulted in all my unborn days. Mr. Disney, do you think the magic mirror would do something for me? It's your party, Catherine. Oh, slave in the mirror, anything Catherine wishes is okay with me. If that is thy wish, master. Let's pause for a little refreshment. Thank you, child. Don't mind if I do. For all to see, for all to have, beyond mere price or measure. Now over there, look on this fair, this rare, this simple treasure. Yes, friends, one of the treasures of everyday living is the delicious, wholesome goodness of Coca-Cola. While Walt and his friends pause to refresh themselves, May we suggest that ice-cold Coke, right from your own refrigerator, is perfect refreshment for you and your guests. During the holiday season and throughout the year, keep plenty of Coca-Cola on hand. Then you will always be ready for anyone who drops in. For where there's Coke, there's hospitality. Delicious, most refreshing. Oh, where was I? Oh, yes. From the hidden mists of time, past and future, all are same. Do but ask, and I will bring thee here 
within this frame. <laughs> oh, that, that was pretty good, that was. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, we mustn't forget you. No. Isn't there something nice you remember? No, 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 thank you. No. Oh, Mortimer. No, no, no. no. Please no. tell me. Mm. No, I thank you, no, thank you, no. Now, look, now, look, mm. Mortimer, you mustn't be afraid of people. No, yeah. Goodness, I'm only a girl. Yeah, well, that's the worst kind. Oh, boy, she ain't gonna catch me. Oh, no, that's all right. No. Somewhat concerned about... Oh, dear, oh, dear, I'm late, I'm late. Oh, my fur and whiskey, I'm late. The <laughs> rabbit is here and a couple of chessmen and... Off with his head, off with her head, off with their heads. And the queen is here and her... Twinkle, uh, twinkle, little bat. The Dormouse is here, and a few I don't seem the to recognize. The time has come. I've always said to talk of many things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. Please, if you please. The walrus and the carpenter are here, and a, well, almost a hand there. When okay. I was at school, we had a master was an old turtle. We used to call him tortoise. Now, <laughs> why did you call him the tortoise when he was not a tortoise? We used to call him tortoise because he taught us. <laughs> please, Mad Hatter, quiet. Quiet really, all of you, really, please. Really, you're very dull. We very cannot dull. find Alice. We're in trouble. We cannot you can't find, find Alice? No, we cannot find we'll Alice. We'll find her for you. How will you find her? Please. Oh, you like my singing? Fine. Third chorus. Could I have music, please? 
Twas thrilling and the sliding toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the Bora Gold and the Mom Rat out brave. Well, that was the third chorus. Shall I try for a fourth? Oh, no, 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 thank you. But I just want you to know which way I ought to go. Oh, well, that depends, doesn't it, on just where you want to get to. Oh, well, it really doesn't matter. Yes. Uh, as long as well, I... Well, it really doesn't matter which way you go. I have some friends who go that way, and then others go that way. But as for me, myself, personally, I always take the shortcut. Well, as long as I get somewhere. Oh, little girl, you're bound to do that. <laughs> he went that way. Who did? Who did? The white rabbit. Oh, he did? <laughs> he did what? Who went that way? Who did? The white rabbit. What rabbit? But didn't you just say, oh, I mean... Oh, oh. it was a brilliant and the slightly cold but he and gimbal in the wave. Can you stand on your head? Oh! <laughs> it was brilliant and the sight I did. I figured this out all for myself. Let's see. When one is lost, I suppose it's good advice to... Well, I, I suppose it's good advice to stay where you are until someone comes for you. Mm. <coughs> That's good advice. But you haven't followed it, you know. If you'd only listened earlier, little girl, you wouldn't be where you are now. Yes, I suppose that's right. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. That explains the trouble that I'm always in. Be patient. Is very good advice, but the waiting makes me curious. And I'd love the change, should something strange begin. I'm sure that I know right from wrong, and I have the best intentions. Life should be such a merry song. you're a very nice little girl. And if you really want to find the white rabbit, why don't you ask the Mad Hatter? The Mad Hatter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to... Well, then you could always ask the March Hare in that direction. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Of course, you know, oh. he's mad, too. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, oh my dear child, you can't help that. We're all mad here. Everybody's mad. You might have noticed that I am not quite myself. It was a brilliant and the slimy tone. <laughs> People here are like that. I, I must try not to upset them. weren't made to be looked at for nothing. If you think we're wax, we you out of pay. Contrary-wise. Thank you, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Oh, why did they do that? This is an unbirthday present. Oh, oh, 
Uh, I'm not offended. I mean, what is an unbirthday present? An unbirthday present is a present you get when it's not your birthday. Oh, I prefer birthday presents. Silly, you don't know what you're talking about. How many days are there in a year? 365. How many birthdays do you have? One. Subtract so one from 365, and how many are left? 364, of course. That shows you that there are 364 days to get unbirthday presents. Oh, that's different. Of course. I heard the Queen say just yesterday that you ought to be beheaded. <laughs> what for? Oh, I don't know what for. She didn't say it. Mind your own business. Read your book. <laughs> oh, I'm pale. Oh, this is all in some language I don't understand. That is in Jabberwocky. Oh. oh. May I borrow this mirror, please, for a minute? Well, if you must, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a looking last book, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> when I put the mirror this way, the words all come the right way again. Was brilliant, and the slithy toes did Gaia and Gimbal in the wave. Sounds strangely familiar. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't.
I see. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, thank you. It's a wonderful book, isn't it? Huh? Good. Oh, it's a lovely book. I think that we ought to have something about it explained. It's very bewildering to me. Well, uh, <laughs> it's not really bewildering. Oh, it isn't? Well, I tell you, we've got some sketches here. Would you oh, like we to have? see them? Oh, I'd love to see them. Sure. But before we do the sketches, would you tell me what's the meaning of brillig? Uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Brillig is four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> what about, uh, is it Tobes? Toves, yes. Well, t a, a tove is, is, is something like a badger and something like a lizard and something like a corkscrew. What about uh, a borogove? <laughs> well, a borogove is a sort of a thin, emancipated-looking bird. Emancipated. With feathers sticking out all around, kind of a live yes. mop. What about the uh, mom rat? Well, isn't that something like a, a green pig or something? Yes, that, that's, that's the green pig. That's the rat part. The mom, I would oh. Did you know that uh, we're recording these uh, songs? Oh, you are? Yes, uh -huh. uh, yes, we're making a new album for uh, Decca. Oh, fun. Decca has nothing to do with Mom <laughs> Rath. Uh, uh, now shall we talk about these... Um, uh, uh, the sketches? Things. Yeah, the sketches. Oh. Is it true that you act the scenes out uh, completely before the camera, uh, that is, before the artists uh, have a chance, the cartoonists have a chance to do their work? Yes, that's for the inspiration of the artists. So the inspiration? Draw, yes. I see. Then, uh, oh, what, uh, what, what do the very first sketches... Uh, well, here's, here's, uh, oh, these are the ones you meant. Yeah, this is a very rough sketch, you Oh, see. isn't that nice? Huh? From the very beginning, the ideas that the, the uh -huh. different artists get. Uh -huh. And then from this, you see, you go to another Alice. That's a little uh -huh. more advanced, you see. I see. Isn't that isn't nice? That's you. That's, that's you. <laughs> that's, that's our little Kathy, huh? Then mm -hmm. what happens? Then uh, the sets. You see, this is the background for uh -huh. the set. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that charming? This is the live action right here. Yes, the live the oh, we there's our about. Kathy See in that person. See, Alice, and that's that the cute. fellow who does the caterpillar. Uh -huh. And from this, from this from inspiration, this. you see, And there's the finished, uh, the, the finished, finished set in the drawings. Isn't that wonderful? Did you ever think you'd look like that, Kathy? Well, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? But they've really done a good job, don't you think oh, so? Oh, just a wonderful. You, of course, know uh, Sterling Holloway and Kathy Beaumont. 150 million people are very anxious to see this picture. Oh, that's yeah. easy. You did. I, uh, do you suppose it might be a chance uh, for them to see uh, just a slim portion of it, maybe, before certainly, we get to Certainly. May I do a card trick? A me? card trick? Yes, please. Well, May I have the, uh, uh, the seven of spades, please? Seven of spades. The seven of spades. Seven. Well, so it's the Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> have you an unbirthday present for Fred Waring, please? Here you are, Fred. Oh. Thank That's you for so you. much. This is a real present. Isn't it, it is a real from Alice in Wonderland. It is really a real, real. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you so much. Now, what is it? It's the dance of the cards. The dance of, of the cards. You won't see this in the beautiful color that it is because television doesn't have color yet. But you <laughs> give us time. We'll have the color. Rush this quickly to the control room and get that on quickly, quickly so goodness. that we can see the dance of the cards. And uh, we'll we'll play the music for it. And they just show that. Picture. Is that the idea? Oh, Isn't this yes. wonderful? I think it's so nice of uh, yackety, walk. Yackety, 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 yackety. Too much talk. Let's see the film. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, that was it. Uh, Sterling and Alice, or shall we say Kathy and... Uh, Cheshire. Cheshire, Cheshire. <laughs> yes. Well, it doesn't matter. You're confusing no matter what happens. If the rest of the picture is as wonderful as that, I can hardly wait.
Walt also didn't have to look far for the voice of Wendy. He found what he called the gentle and gracefully feminine voice in the same actress who had played Alice in Wonderland, Catherine Beaumont. I heard about Peter Pan because the studio had started working on the writing part of it. I went directly from finishing Alice and immediately started working on the, the voice for Wendy. Young Bobby Driscoll was assigned to the role of Peter. Where is that villain, Captain Hook? I'll slice him up and throw him to the crocodile. Oh, slave in the mirror, come from the farthest space. Through wind and rain I... I am here, young mistress. Oh, my goodness, you got here in a hurry. I didn't get to finish the magic words. Well, it so happened that I was in the neighborhood. Hans Conried, seen here as the face in the magic mirror, was cast in the tradition of the stage play as both Captain Hook Boss and Peter Pan and Mr. Darling. Ouch! Ouch, I say! The second part of my performance after, after the recording was done was what was really uh, making the film, although in this situation it wasn't a film the audience saw. It was only for the animators and it basically was done so that the animator could watch the action taking place. Get on with it, girl. Uh, my name is Wendy. Uh, Wendy Moore, Angela Dawson. Wendy's a 